All right, we're going to learn how to do partial fraction expansion or decomposition using MATLAB. So here's the transfer function we're given. As you can see, the numerator, the coefficients are 1, 2, and 1. And then down here, we have a root of negative 1. And then also, this is a polynomial, which can be factored out and get the roots of that. So what we are going to do is first... we are going to write the numerator as as the coefficients 1 to 1 and we are going to write the denominator as a polynomial so as we can see here uh, this is on the outside so we already know one root is a negative one so we write it as negative one then you do a semicolon then you write the roots and since you don't know what the roots of this is if you don't want to do it you let MATLAB do it uh, you write the coefficient so roots 156 156 so then the final line of code is you're just gonna write uh, coefficient roots and then a constant and then you write residue numerator and denominator so when you press enter you'll see over here you get a coefficient of 2 a negative 1 and a 0 so that's what goes in the numerator and then you have roots in the denominator of negative 3 negative 2 and negative 1 so then the partial fraction expansion you just write it as based off of these numbers right here you write 2 since you got 2 right here s plus 3 because you got a root of negative 3 here minus 1 since you got a minus 1 up here and then s plus 2 since you got a negative 2 here you ignore the 0 the numerator will stay the same the denominator as you can see here if you factor out this s plus 1 to this polynomial you get s cubed plus 6s squared plus 11s plus 6. The coefficients are 1, 6, 11, and 6. So you can write it like this as well. Save that. And then you, you, then you run the same line of code. And as you can see here, you get the same answer. So now the second example, we have s squared plus 1 in the numerator. And then we have an s on the outside, s plus 1 s squared plus 2s plus 17 we know over here 1 will uh, s will equal 0 and then also s equals negative 1 so how we go about writing this right here is you write it numerator 101 because s squared there's a coefficient of 1 there is no s so you put a 0 and then a 1 then you look at the denominator we have like I said s is 0 because it's on the outside so you put a 0 and you put a negative 1 that corresponds to this right here and then the roots of 1 2 and 17 1 2 and 17 save that and then like before one last line and as you can see here you get coefficients you get complex conjugates over here and then you also get roots of negative 1 plus 4j minus 1 minus 4j negative 1 and then 0 so how you write this is you look at the coefficient so the first coefficient is 0 3 3 1 that correlates with this root then the next one is the second number which goes with the second number here and then here and then here if there's ever more roots then coefficients you ignore the last root that's stated you always want to write the same amount of expansion based off of the coefficients now we're gonna go ahead and do the second way 
So if you were to factor this out, you get this right here, s cubed, s to the fourth plus 3s cubed plus 19s squared plus 17s. So how you write that is 1, which goes with the to the fourth, a 3, a 19, a 7. Since there's no uh, constant, you just put a 0. Press enter. And you just write that. We're going to do one last example. So we have one here and right here we have one that is squared and then we have a polynomial here. So how you go about writing this, as before, you write numerator 1 and 1. You have, since it's squared right here, you have two roots at negative 2. So you can write that right here and then roots of 1, 7, and 12, which correspond to the coefficients right here. So you store that. And like before, you're just going to write this right here. You get a coefficient of 0 0.75, negative 2, 1.25, and negative 0 0.5, with roots that correspond to those coefficients of negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and then another negative 2. Down here, since you have two roots at negative 2, you know that the second, when you do the expansion, the second one will just be squared. So the first one, as you can see here, is regular, and then the second one becomes squared when you have uh, repeated roots. So now we're going to go do it um, just a little bit different. So... So what I have here, so we have roots 1, 4, 4. When you factor s plus 2, uh, when you square it, you get s squared plus 4s plus 4. So I've written it as roots of that. And then um, if you right off the bat know the two roots, like uh, 7s plus 12, I know it's um, plus 3s plus 4. So then you can just write it right here. You can write it this way as well. So you can write it the other way around just to show that it works. You get the same answers. Now there's another way you can write this as well. If you were to multiply this all out, you get this denominator and the coefficients are 1, 11, 44, 76, and 48. So that second line you can So that second line, you can also write it like this, where it is in relation to the coefficients of the denominator.